In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, my beloved, today we are celebrating this Sunday, again, the Sunday of the forefathers of the old prophets and old before Christ, the forefathers and uh, the celebration. And then yesterday's service, as you know, we have counted off many, many of the forefathers, uh, starting from Adam and uh, going on through the whole Old Testament city, Old Testament life. My beloved, we have to realize that today's gospel was a very sorrowful one. Today's gospel, God gives a parable of how a master, a Lord, sends his servant to fetch, he prepared a big dinner and to fetch the people to come for the dinner. And uh, as the servant went and uh, approached some people, and they, they had an excuse, they can't come because they have uh, just uh, bought a uh, village and uh, they have to go look at it. And other ones didn't come because they bought five pairs of, of bulls. They're going to try them out. And another one's telling you that they just got married and uh, they can't come to the dinner. And everybody refused to come for the dinner. And of course, the greatest, the saddest part is that when the Lord was talking about the feast that He is preparing for every one of us, it's the Holy Communion. As in the, the priest is so saddened when the, he, he has a liturgy and he brings out the chalice and there's hardly anyone coming up to the chalice and sometimes even no one. And this is a terrible, sad thing because everybody was too busy to prepare for the Holy Communion to receive the, actually the body and blood of the Lord, to get the strength for their life. Because without the Lord, he says, there is no eternal life, and there is no life. So he had given his own flesh and blood for us to consume, to be able to renew our life. It's just like it was in the Garden of Eden. There was a special tree that the Adam and Eve could take from, and that would give them a longevity and eternal life. Well, this is what the Lord is offering us, His own body and blood to give us eternal life. And so many times we are too busy with other things to prepare, to to uh, do the proper fasting, to to uh, do the proper uh, prayers that have to be done before, and of course attending the all night video and uh, and so on, and may be loved. So what did the master then he did? He sent then the servant to go on the crossroads and get the poor people the the and the lame and the and the blind and whoever you can find and the, that the, all those who were uh, who was uh, Invited, they will not enter uh, the, 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 his his kingdom anymore. And he says that many are called, few are chosen. Well, you and me, I sure hope that we want to be the ones that are chosen. But we have to work on it. We have to put more effort in to be able to receive communion more often. My beloved, this is our life. This is our life. Without the Holy Communion, we have no life. <coughs> My beloved, we try, try to go more often <coughs> to Holy Communion. We have to show the love 
our love to the Lord must be more than the love to our mother, as it says in the scripture, or love to a wife, or love to children. We have to have love for the Lord more than anything, and more than for our own body and our health and what have you. We have to always be willing to self-sacrifice for to be with our Lord. This is the true love. Look at the lives of saints when you read and listen to them or listen, you see that so many of them were going joyfully to the terrible tortures. They, they were going as if they were going to great holiday. And when they know that they are going to be quartered or they're going to be burned or all kinds of terrible things were going to be done to them. And they, they went there uh, joyfully because they were doing that for Christ, because they loved Christ, because they knew that they wanted to be with Him eternity. And uh, they, they saw that as being uh, a, a beautiful way to be able to be with Him through the torches. Because they remembered how He went through uh, crucifixion for us to show us the, the love and the that's what we have to try to do. Orthodox Christians, we have to realize that uh, we do not have to be afraid of the death. But for us, death is the passing over from this life to the eternal and to be with our Lord, which uh, we always wanted to uh, be. And uh, may the Lord help us to work hard at all, because the Lord says that the kingdom of heaven is taken by force. Only those who exert themselves will be able to go there. And this is what you and me, we have to try to understand and, and try to exert ourselves more to be with the Lord. May God bless you and give us all strength to follow on the road which leads to the kingdom of heaven. Amen.